what's up you guys welcome to my youtube channel princess bravo here if you are new and in today's video i'll be testing out the black henna and black nail polish on my natural nails to see which one is the best and of course you guys can't tell the difference so if you're ready let's go In case you guys are interested in the products that I'm going to be using today, in this video, I will link all the products down below. But I also have a video where I applied the same black henna on my short natural nails. So in case you have short nails and you're wondering how your nails will look like with the black henna, I will leave the video down below for you guys to check it out as well. When it comes to making the black henna paste, you want to be very careful, especially when it comes to adding in the water. So I suggest to add in small amounts of water at a time, as you guys can see me do. So you want this um, henna to have a toothpaste kind of consistency, not too runny or not too thick. So while I'm mixing that up, I'm going to be giving you guys a little story time, just a small history behind my natural nails. This story time starts from way back when I was in high school because when I was much younger, I never used to do anything special to my natural nails. So I remember when I was in high school, I had very long nails and the teachers would allow me to keep my long nails and that would make me so, so happy. So there was this one time when we had a new teacher in our school. I will call her Teacher T. So Teacher T was a female teacher and she was pretty much jealous of my long natural nails and uh, there was this time she was on duty and she asked me to cut my long natural nails now considering the amount of time it took me to grow my natural nails the care and the maintenance well guys i couldn't see myself cutting my long natural nails so guess what i did I bluntly refused and she just gave me a punishment she gave me a very difficult punishment cutting firewood you guys <laughs> but I did it because I couldn't see myself having short nails because I was in form 4 I was almost finishing school and I can't do short nails short nails for who now this is the consistency you should be looking for in the black henna and since that is already done we are going to get ready to apply it on our natural nails so this is how i'm going to be doing this i'm going to be applying the black henna on both of my hands i mean my nails we are doing an experiment we want to see which one looks best on your natural nails between the black henna and the black nail polish and we want to see which one will last us much longer Also, check out my nail prep playlist linked down below. I am using an incense stick to apply the black henna on my natural nails. You can use a toothpick or anything that you have at hand. So if you get any stains on your hand, don't worry, that will literally come off in like two days. And also when you are applying this, be careful on where you are doing this. You want to apply this on a surface where you wouldn't mind to get some stains. So as you guys can see, I have um, a black cloth underneath. So in case of any spillage, I wouldn't worry of getting my surface like having any stains. Now, when I was done with high school, I couldn't wait to do all the crazy things on my natural nails because now my nails were so long and I was like, I can't wait to do all the crazy colors, everything on my natural nails. Now, shaka on me because at that time I was staying with my mom. On very few occasions, my mother would allow me to paint my natural nails and that was only possible when I was doing her nails too. So if I wasn't doing her nails, of course, I wouldn't get any nail polish. So moving fast forward because that experience didn't help me with anything at all. Like I didn't gain much experience when I was staying with my mom because I barely had nail polishes to apply on my nails. <laughs> So I, then there was this time I was staying with my auntie. Now, 
this is where I gained most of my experience. Of course, she did allow me to apply nail polishes on my nails. And I also was doing her nails, my cousin's nails, and that's how I gained experience. I think I should show you guys how I used to paint my nails when I was much younger. I remember I was doing these multicolored nails. I would do pinks, greens, yellows, purples, all the colors you could actually <laughs> paint on your nails. Um, so as you guys can see, I'm also applying the henna underneath my nails and that's because I want these nails to be super super pigmented. Make sure to also get the sides and the edges of your nails with the black henna. Now guys, let me tell you the reason why I love black henna so much. Now again, when I was staying with my mom, I used to do almost every chore in the house. So applying nail polish on my nails wouldn't make any sense because the nail polish will literally come off on that day. Now, as you guys can see, we are done applying this um, on our nails. I'm going to leave that to dry as I work on this other hand as well. As you guys can see, once it's dry, it easily comes off. You can use your nails to just peel that off your nails. So as I was saying you guys, I was literally doing every chore in the house. So I was like, um, since I'm doing every chore in the house and I love to paint my nails and the nail polishes are literally coming off in just a day, I think black henna will be my best friend because black henna will last you months. So if you're someone who literally stays with your parents or anyone who wouldn't allow them to paint their nails, girl, I would advise you to go for black henna. It's your best friend, especially if you do all the chores in the house. I mean, go for black henna. It will save you. Now, once we are done removing the black henna from our nails, the dried black henna, I'm going to wash that off with some water. As you guys can see, it's so, so pigmented. The nails look so amazing. I'm now washing my hands with cold water. You guys, I also tried to do some art on my hand, which was also a terrible fail. So again, I wanted to show you guys how easily the henna comes off in case you have it anywhere on your skin, on your body. So it easily comes off. And in two days, trust me, in two days, you wouldn't see any sign of the henna on your hands. I'm using the meningai soap to wash my hands. And I did a shower routine. I don't know if I should mention it here, but yeah, I did a shower routine with this soap. So kindly watch that video. If you've already watched it, watch it again. Using my beautiful pink nail brush, I applied the meningai soap on the bristles and then I'm going to use that to scrub underneath my nails. Remember we had applied henna under there so we want to make sure all that comes off and there is no dirt or residue left underneath our nails or on the surface of our nails. So also scrub on the surface of my nails and underneath and make sure everything is squeaky clean. If not for the stains around my nails, you guys wouldn't even know if this is black henna. I mean, it is so, so dark and pigmented. It looks like nail polish. So now I'm going to repeat washing my hands with soap and water to make sure like everything is squeaky clean. Okay.
to make my nails hella shiny i'm going to be using this clear top coat which is also a nail hardener i will be applying that all over my nails and this is on my left hand Once that is done, I will leave my nails to dry as I work on the other hand. But as you guys can see, the nails are looking so beautiful, so gorgeous. I mean, you wouldn't know this is henna except for the stains around the nails. Now on my right hand, I will be applying the black nail polish on top of the black henna that I have already applied. If you ever decide to apply black henna on your nails, also remember to apply a top coat because your nails will be looking crusty as you guys can see. So make sure to apply a top coat so that your nails can look so nice and shiny. Once we are done applying the black nail polish, I'll leave that to dry and then I'll come back to apply the clear top coat. Guys, can you tell me in the comments if you can tell the difference between the black nail polish and the black henna on my natural nails? Because in person, I cannot tell the difference as well. The colors look so pigmented. They are so unique to each other that you cannot tell which is black henna and which is the black nail polish. And this is because I did apply the black henna on both of uh, on all of my nails and they look so alike. You can't even tell the difference. It is obvious that we cannot tell the difference between the two hands. So this is the right hand that had the black nail polish and this is the left hand that had the black henna. As you guys can see, we cannot tell the difference. All the colors look actually almost the same. They look so pigmented, so dark. They are so unique to each other that you cannot tell which is black henna and the black nail polish. For me, I started to notice a difference in the pigments on the the third day on my left hand especially the henna started to move because my nails were growing but on the other side the black nail polish didn't uh, chip or anything like that because I used a high quality black nail polish but if you use a low quality black nail polish of course you expect it to start chipping even on the first day depending on your choice so with that said if you are someone who does a lot of chores and can hardly do their nails i will recommend you do the black henna on your natural nails compared to the black nail polish which tends to come off easily and much faster if you enjoyed today's video make sure to leave a big thumbs up also leave a comment share this video as well if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to join the princess bravo gang and as always thank you so much for watching i will see you next time